Alright, hello everybody and welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna go over some tips on how to take some great self-portraits. You take the spotlight. You get to be front and center. Say hi to Skullhead right here. Tip number one, you don't have to have the best equipment. Use whatever you have. Whatever you have is the best equipment. Whether it be an iPhone, an Android, a little disposable camera, a little Instax mini Polaroid camera, it doesn't matter. You bring yourself to your images, no matter if it's a photo of yourself, you're always bringing something to it. So use what you have. Tip number two, don't be afraid to just take as many as possible unless you are using film and then just be careful. Take many, 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 many photos. It doesn't matter. There's, we're in a digital age. You can take as many photos as you like. Obviously, you're the one going to be sifting through those photos, but who cares? Some of them are going to be out of focus. They're going to be a little overexposed, underexposed. They're going to be, you know, all over the place. The cropping is going to be a little wonky on a few of them. But out of all those images, you're going to find that one that's going to make you and be like, wow, that's amazing. And it's going to get your heart racing. And that is what you're looking for. Tip number three, get acquainted with your tripod. Your tripod is your new best friend. Like I have mine right here in front of me. Able to get some crazy angles and stuff you wouldn't be able to do if you were just using a selfie stick or whatever. How do you like my gloss? She's cool, huh? Hello. <laughs> Tip number four, use some props. Use your favorite book or grab some flowers from the garden or sit in the windowsill with the natural lighting. Another secret tip, natural lighting is the most flattering. Go into the balcony or maybe lie in the garden when it's summer. I'm sure you could lie in the snow. Why not? Why not? Why not? Uh, go, go outside uh, if you're comfortable or you can stay inside. Just use props. Like these fairy lights, people love these fairy lights. Grab your favorite blanket. You don't need to go out and buy things, although buying things is fun. And I would recommend the dollar store. I recently went to the dollar store and had a great time. You can check that video out as well. Props can just add a new level of depth to your image and add a little more, it can make the image a little more interesting. Tip number five, posing. Now posing is really, really difficult. I've found it really difficult. It's really easy to pose up here, but the rest of the body, I've kind of stayed away from <laughs> doing lower body stuff. But on Pinterest, you can find some really, really, really great posing guides. Since you can't see yourself in the screen, unless you're, you have a camera that, can, that has a flip out screen, like me, I can't see myself, so I have to get used to, you know, sitting up straight, shoulders back. That's usually a, uh, a decent starting point when you're trying to pose yourself, unless you're going for a more kind of hunched over look. Um, just know, you, know your body and how it looks on camera. And posing guides are a great way to show you how to pose for your body type because not everybody are uh, models. So tip number six, don't get discouraged looking at your photos in the camera. They're not done yet. They're about 50%, sometimes 40% the way done. The rest comes into editing. Editing your photos can be a game changer. Sometimes I look through my, my camera roll on uh, Lightroom and I see this photo and I'm like, oof, this, this looks a little rough, but I add some of my presets to it and bam, I'm like, wow, I would have deleted that photo. But I started editing it and tweaking it, taking it into Photoshop and, you know, maybe blurring a background, do some, doing some burning and dodging. And now I've brought this photo that seemed lifeless back to life. And so don't underestimate the power of editing. 
and a lot of people think that editing isn't photography but that is a freaking lie and you can quote me on that like 90% of the photos these days are edited if not 100 the only photos that aren't edited are like tra uh, travel or like family vacation pictures you know or like school grad even school graduation pictures have been edited you know they've been they put filters over it and stuff they they definitely do something to it so don't listen to those people and if you're not experienced at editing your photos play around mess with it play with the colors you know uh change add some uh lens flare add a little bit of this you it's you can mess around with it it's up to you it's your image do what you want is the point <laughs> my last one is everyone is beautiful sounds stupid it sounds stupid but as long as you bring yourself to your photos they will turn out great there is always something in an image that can tell you about the person always right so experiment and have fun with it i guess that will be the topic of the last tip is just have fun with it don't get too bogged down about what other people are going to think of you you are supposed to have fun put glitter on your face you know go lie in the bath and put like flowers all over you go out and play with your dog and then those will be your pictures go sit in the car and take them there go sit in the bathroom mirror and take a photo it's all up to you you're in charge so with that thank you so much and i hope you enjoy taking those selfies you can do it all right Thank you so much, and I hope you have a lovely day. Say hi to this boy. Alright, have a good one. Bye!